Senor Inspector, do you know why cats don't dance? The Valentian Fine Arts Association presents Mr. Damascus Ridge, Guitarist Extraordinaire. Thank you for coming, madame. I hope to see you at the next performance. Ah, Inspector Grimsley. I didn't know you were a fan. I would have offered you VIP seating. Sorry, maestro. I'm not here for your performance. I'm here on personal guard duty for Mr. God. I'm unfamiliar with the name, Inspector. As most are currently, although that will change here in the near future. Over there, next to the tall brunette in lace-covered dress, Mr. Octavius Gat, a street musician before the cataclysm, but now he found a diamond mine just outside of Sanctuary. 
quite by accident. But nonetheless, he is now one of the richest men in all the kingdoms. Ah, and in the company of Lady Valen, I see. The husband of Lady Valen, Maestro, widowed four times in seven years. All of her husbands wealthy, and each meeting a rather accidental death minus the last, who died in the cataclysm. Perhaps she is cursed, one of the witches in scorn. Maybe even the Red Queen herself. I had a cousin, Charles, who worked there. We have not heard of him in many weeks. She's not cursed, Maestro, but I will be keeping an eye on her. An eye, Inspector? I know the lady. Would you care for a private audience? <laughs> now hold your tongue, Maestro. My duty comes before any and all. I will not be swayed by a pair of batting blue eyes. We wouldn't want you to be cursed either. <laughs> Tell me, Inspector, who does the inspecting if the Inspector has been permanently disrespected? I don't plan on being permanently disrespected, Maestro. If you'll excuse me, my charge appears to be leaving. I am always available, Inspector Grimsley. Always available. Diamonds, you say, Mr. Inspector? Hello, Hootigans, and welcome home. And we have our first Kingdom of Valenthian episode for you guys. And I want to give a very, very, very special thank you to Mr. Klatos and Mr. Sandman, and uh, Klatos also for the original music you guys heard in the beginning of this episode. So the wonderful acoustic guitar that was done was actually Klatos. He wrote that song specifically like for this episode, like for this series. Um, I have been talking to him a little while about getting some original music into home, and uh, he he said he he get to it and he got to it but he wanted to do it where he was playing his character because it's actually very important in the story because he is actually playing a like musician in the story um so if you guys may have guessed you guys got to meet uh damascus and you guys got to meet inspector grimsley and uh you also got to hear a little bit about lady valen uh, Lady Valen is actually going to be a character that will be appearing in the next episode of, uh, of Valenthian. So, this is the wonderful kingdom of Valenthian, and Crafting Mantis has actually been out here doing some work. Uh, you guys probably know her name. She's been around the channel for a long time. Uh, she actually plays Princess Fira in the, uh, in the home series, and she is also a member of the realm of Vastin that I am on as well. Um... But yeah, this is kind of conceptual of things that are going to be happening here. So, we have got what I think is going to be the coolest, coolest part of Valentian at all, is um, these canals, and I love these canals, and these canals are going to be so, so cool. And uh, we're working on a little bit of a concept for getting the houses done. Um, so Valenthian is going to be a very, it's, it's the kingdom of romance, that's like what we call it. Um, and so it is going to be the place where everybody comes and they vacation or they honeymoon. There's going to be theaters, we want to do an aquarium here as well to uh, utilize some of the 1.13 stuff. So we want to do an aquarium, but there's going to be these like just big gorgeous houses and all of these wonderful things. Just a place you really want to just come and walk walk around and just see everything that is just beautiful in general and so we've got lots of color we've got like all of these like she made a gondola like we're gonna be doing gondolas which i think is super super cool so you can check this out here um we're gonna have a couple of these different ones maybe uh do some stories with them as well and i think it's gonna be really cool because there is a thieves guild here this is a place of wealth and there will be a thieves guild there will be individual thieves as well, which is uh, you guys met Damascus. 
So Damascus is also known as the Dancing Cat. And uh, he is our thief. He is our diamond heist thief. We met Inspector Grimsley, who will uh, eventually, eventually see probably through the ruse of Damascus Ridge and start maybe knowing that he is, uh, he is the dancing cat. So we'll see. We'll have to go on that adventure together. It will be a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited about it. I think it's going to be a really fun story to do. Um, I mean, who doesn't love a heist story? I mean, you can't beat that. That's just too good. But um, yeah, that's that's what's going to be going on in Valentian. And all of these canals are eventually, like, this is going to be all over the place. Like, these canals are going to go, like, back up into here, all along here. Like, this place is pretty huge. We want to take up a good portion of it, too. So, like, lots of little bridges and stuff. Uh, you guys saw the one that we started the episode on. That was, uh, Mantis had done that. So, we want to get into that. And then we've got a little bit of this over here, too. So I think this would be kind of a cool place for some, like, unique little build. Uh, maybe a little inlet. Like, we can knock out, like, some of this. Maybe put, like, a little dock here or something. Well, not a little dock. Like, a big open, like, I don't know. Uh, what do you call those things? Where, like, a port, I guess? Not, not so much for, like, multiple ships, but, like, just one. Like, maybe there's some big boat pulled up into here or something. Um, but, yeah. Valentian is going to be really, really, really cool. And I'm really excited because I really want to, uh, like I said, Klatos did an original song for this for the beginning. And I want to include more music. So I would like to have music be a part of Valentian. Um, I really want it to be a character of its own. And that's what I, uh, I told Klatos. I actually recently talked to him because he had recorded this, what, tonight's Saturday. Uh, he recorded an original copy of that song probably Tuesday, I want to say. And then what he ended up doing is like, he's like, hey, I'm going to bring that into the, uh, I'm going to bring that into the studio and master it and make it better. And I was like, okay, can you get it to me by Saturday? And uh, he managed to do it uh, last night, so on Friday. So, very, very, very cool of him. And uh, today is uh, May the 4th, by the way, for me. So, uh, may the 4th be with all of you guys. Um, and then we also lost uh, we also lost Chewy recently, which is, which is not any fun. It's, you know, it's crazy because I'm... I can't even say, like, I was a kid when Star Wars came out because I wasn't. Um, I may have just been born when Return of the Jedi came out. But... I do remember growing up on those movies um, when they were still relatively young. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of crazy. Like, you, all the people that were involved with it are now kind of just going on and, you know, passing away and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just, it's, it makes, makes you feel old. <laughs> I guess what it does. But uh, we lost Peter May Mayhews. So, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a, eh. It's kind of a eh. I'm not I'm not I'm not thrilled about it. But uh but yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, things are things are going well for home. Um just to let you guys know by the way, you guys only have about uh this episode will be out tomorrow, so Sunday. You guys will then have seven days to grab your home lineup shirt if you guys want it. Um so that is the shirt that is included all of the uh all of the like builders and artists and people like that and stuff are all all over that shirt and uh, we are going to be adding some new people I am actually going to uh, use the episode to introduce some new builders um, so we have some wonderful new builders coming on uh, we have okay hold on I can never remember how to say this name uh, Vig Vig Vigardia Vig 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 Dargarvia I can, I can never remember. I'm going to have to look it up because I can never remember how to pronounce his name. And it drives me absolutely bonkers that I never remember how to pronounce his name. Um, so we'll tell you about the first person that's coming in. Or the second person that's coming in. So uh, MC Frankie is actually going to be joining the, uh, joining the home build crew. And uh, she's going to be building mainly in Sanctuary. Um, that is a place I need a lot of help with. There are a lot of really... 
big builds there that I'm going to be tackling myself, but I still need, uh, wow, that was the weirdest thing ever. Um, I still need people to be building the houses and the benches and the parks and all of that fun stuff. And, uh, so she's gonna be helping out with that. Uh, Bully Bait is actually helping out with that as well. Um, but we also are bringing in Vidargavia. There we go. I can pronounce things. I'm a person. <laughs> Um, he is actually a fantastic builder, uh, one of my favorite, like, Minecraft builders, and I'm really, really, really excited to have him join us. Uh, I'm not sure where he wants to exactly be building, um, but he is talented enough to be building in almost everywhere in home, so I'm really, really, really excited for him to be there as well. Uh, Tim is still kicking butt over in Harvest. Uh, Foxy has apparently started redoing the Witch's Coven, um, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while now. Uh, it was not big enough, in my opinion. I found it was kind of just a, a smaller build that deserved to be bigger, and uh, she asked me about doing it at some point, and I told her that that was something that I had planned on doing anyway. And so I was really, really, really glad that she decided to take that task on. Um, so you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of Scorn expansion, which is super cool. And then uh, we've got episodes coming up. Let's see. We have got the... Oh, you guys get the first episode of Rivet coming up. Um, so we've been a little held off on Rivet. And the reason is, is we've been trying to find a voice actress to fit the part for Isabel. Uh, we have had a couple of people that have offered to do it, and then something has come up with them. Um, I know these people, like, decently, so I am, I completely understand, like, it's not just, you know, them kind of bailing out like this, it's like a legit busy stuff happening. Um, so what we decided to do is my lovely wife, Mutter's Mommy, who is in, who is one of the co-writers, you saw her in the beginning, um, she is actually writing the story for Rivet. And so we're doing like a steampunk love story, but it's got like a twist. It's really, really unique and it's really cool and I'm actually really, really, really excited about it. Um, it is going to be featuring Bullybait88 as our main character, Alistair, but we also have another character by the name of Isabel. And um, Isabel is the character we have been having kind of trouble finding someone for. And we have decided to kind of bypass the trouble. And we are actually going to have, um, we're actually going to have my wife doing that character. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, the character is something that requires a bit of like good acting skill in. And I really, really feel that. And that's why it's been so hard to find somebody. Uh, a lot of these characters I base off of people I know, or I don't really like specifically base them maybe, but like their voice I know is going to fit the role. And uh, it's been a little, a little difficult to do, to do Isabel. Um, and you guys will see why um, in the first story. But I am really excited that my wife's going to be able to do it, mainly because she knows the character, she's writing the character, and she's going to voice the character very, very well. Um, but also she has some very, like, she's got a history in acting, and she also has a creative writing um, history as well. So that's going to be, that's going to be really cool. I'm really, really excited about it, and it's a kingdom I've been wanting to get into for so long, and I haven't been able to, and we are finally going to do it. So, uh, moving forward outside of that, that will be the last kingdom that you guys see an episode for, as far as each kingdom getting an episode first. After that, we will be just basically doing episodes as they come to each kingdom. Um, the main story will still be taking place, you know, throughout this, throughout the actual series. But, uh, like, it will no longer be one place after the other. It won't be like, we're gonna start in Arcanus, then we're gonna go to here, and then, or, like, Rivet, and then we're gonna go to Evergreen, and then we're, and that's not gonna be, like, a circle. Like, we're basically going to be putting out the episodes where I get scripts. I need, I need scripts, I, from, like, my writers are doing specific kingdoms, once those get written and sent to me, then I will be doing an episode that week of it. Um, if they can give me a good flow of stuff going in, um, 
I may consider doing two episodes, maybe. It's going to really depend uh, per week. I am probably going to be cutting back on my live streaming. I'm still up in the air with it. Uh, I've, I'm have i running into a time crunch where the only time I get to really build on here is on content nights that I'm able to get on and actually build. And uh, live streaming kind of gets in the way of that a bit. And I don't benefit as much from the live streams um, in the way of the series progression. Uh, than anything else so I'm considering just taking that and making it like a build night or a night that I can just kind of um, kind of not have to worry get on here and build but maybe if if the writing continues like well and people that I'm sending uh, the voice acting stuff or like the scripts if they can get them back to me on time and stuff like that then I may be able to do two episodes a week but we'll have to see um, that's a that's a pretty tall order for a lot of different people um, so it's not something I'm gonna promise it's just something that could happen um, that will be pretty much up to the community like the people that are really getting involved in the people who are like coming in and basically doing all these voices uh so that's it's up in the air it's very up in the air right now but that's all i'm going to be able to say about it um but yeah we have that coming up i've already got another episode of uh evergreen to come out um conniption has been really 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 good about getting episodes done and sending them to me uh, he and both Chian, who is his kind of consulting co-writer for the uh, Native American stuff, have been putting together some really, really incredible voiceovers and some really good scripts, and I actually already have the voiceovers for them, so as soon as Rivet is done, you guys will probably end up getting uh, Evergreen as the next episode. Uh, I will also tell you that Tim has begun writing uh, more parts for Harvest, so all of you guys who have been waiting for, like, two months for your harvest roles and what you're going to end up playing and stuff like that um you guys will be getting your roles very very soon so just to let you guys know uh things are progressing and they're progressing well and they're progressing on time now and they are just doing they are doing fantastically and i'm really excited uh i'm insanely excited about rivet i am insanely excited that you guys got to hear Klatos and his amazing guitar skill. That dude is a beast. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, funny, funny fact, by the way, guys. Uh, Klatos is a, is a metal guy. He's like a metal band guy. So, for those of you who are, like, wondering where his musical backgrounds and all that stuff go, he plays amazing, amazing classical guitar, but he's a metal dude. He's a metal dude. Total metal freak. Um, which is just great. I absolutely love what he did for this episode and i can't wait to hear more he's already offered more and i have totally accepted because i would be an idiot not to so uh yeah that is what's going on with home uh you guys please remember you only have uh another week to get your home lineup shirt it is super on sale it's only 15 bucks right now and that shirt after this will disappear for a while um i will probably bring it back for maybe like a special episode or something like that but for now it will be it will be gone it will be absolutely gone um so you guys pick that up become one of the few people to have it until the next time that it arrives and uh just to let you guys know as well we are going to be releasing the arcanus shirts uh sometime this week so just to let you guys know um it is a very cool design another one done by uh psycho pacifist and then we will soon be releasing Rivet. So after the next week's episode, we will be releasing the Rivet design, which I personally, this is my f probably my favorite design to come out of the uh, merchandise. It's absolutely amazing. Like, I am super, super, super happy. And it is another uh, Psycho Pacifist design. And uh, it is really good. Which, by the way, you guys are going to now hear from Psycho Pacifist. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, she is playing Lady Valen in the Kingdom of Valenthian. The competition, as it were. And uh, 
it's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot, a lot of fun. And I did this whole episode in the dark because I turned the time back on, you guys. My builders have been complaining that they can't get amazing screenshots of things because they can't control the time anymore. So now you just have to wait for however long it is that Minecraft makes you wait. I think it's like... 18 minutes or something, 12 minutes, something, I don't know, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching again, if you guys have enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff, click all of the things down below, go follow Sandman and Klatos both, uh, remember to tell Klatos in the comments how absolutely amazing his guitar was, because it was beautiful, and uh, guys, I think that's going to do it, and we will see you guys in the next episode of Home, alright? I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Sunrise.